amazing show for you today. I'm going to introduce you to the LinkedIn bio killer. Here's the thing. If you're on Instagram and you're trying to build your business, you're trying to get all of your products promoted and ready for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, all those other things, you need to ditch the link in bio. That is so 2020. It's now 2023. And if you really want to hit your marks for Q4, then this is the episode for you because I'm going to show you how I have been making additional income with Instagram Live and this new tool. Like it's, it's wild. I think I first started using it maybe like two weeks ago. I started using it two weeks ago. I've probably already made three grand. And to me, that's wild. <laughs> Cause I was like, why was not you not doing this before? And, and what's so wild about it is that I've always had courses, workshops, and events that I've been going to. And I would always promote it on social media. I would put in my Instagram stories. I would put in my posts. I'd create a carousel. You know, and I would always say, go to my LinkedIn bio. Guess what? People don't want that experience when they're already sitting there consuming your content, wanting to get to know you. They don't want to have to bounce back, go to link in bio, see all the other links that you have in there. And so when I found out about this tool, I was like, stop. <laughs> I was like, come on. Like, where has this been my entire life? Why didn't I know about this? Why weren't we using this earlier? And so having said that, let me go ahead and bring my friend to the show. His name is Jeff and he is the CEO and co-founder over at Stampede Social. How you doing, friend? How you doing, friend? <laughs> All right. So like I said, I was insane. I was like, wow, why were we not using this earlier? This is so stinking easy. <laughs> So easy. Well, I'm glad that you're, I'm glad that you're using it and loving it. It's so great to hear, you know, it's, you know, you build something and you know, you love it. And, but when you hear like success story like yours, it's, it's uh, heartwarming. It's great to hear. It's great to yeah. hear as a co-founder. And we're just getting started too. So for those of you who don't know, let me get into the specifics. PS, if you're tuning in, let us know where you're tuning in from. I'm here in beautiful, sunny San Diego, Jeff. I am in. Detroit, Michigan, or just outside of Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. I love it. Yeah. So if you're tuning in, go ahead and drop in the comments. Let me share with you what we're talking about today. We're talking about this new tool and it is called Stampede Social. And there you are, Jeff. <laughs> Boom. So if you were to explain this in a nutshell, Jeff, how would you explain Stampede Social? Uh, I would explain what are, what are people seeing right now? I don't, I'm not sure I can see it. Oh. The, um, Okay, so what they're seeing right now is the Stampede Social landing page where it says the quickest way to get your fans directly to your content fast. Gotcha. So Stampede Social uh, in the web page, uh, thank you for bringing that up. The It's sort of an introduction to this platform, to this world, Stampede Social, and all the tools that you can do to basically enhance your Instagram. You know, everyone uses Instagram and it's one of those top platforms, but it has so many shortcomings and that make it difficult to use as a creator or brand, anyone trying to get people to information that they have, drive sales, listens, anything like that. So Stampede Social puts together a bunch of great tools for creators to help fill in all the gaps and add features to Instagram. I love it. Okay, so then, Let's talk a little bit about how brands are just mucking it up when it comes to using Instagram to build their brand and their business. What do you see is kind of like where they're missing the mark? Where they're missing the mark is basically you can tell anyone's missing the mark when you look at a caption and you see a URL in a caption or a comment on Instagram. You can't click on them and no one's retyping all these long URLs. So. One is kind of misunderstanding potentially the, how that platform works, but also then saying, go to our link in bio, which a lot of times is either just a list of links that they have to then match up to what they were at already, or it's a web page that looks exactly like their Instagram where they have to pattern match whatever posts they were on and then find it you know, a little match game, right? And then go and then click on it. And then now they're not even in Instagram. Now they're in a, you know, who knows where they are. So they're like, click, click, click. It's like the, the biggest issue is that you're 
asking your fan, your customer to go way out of the way to find your content. And there's no other platform that says, Hey, I got you go somewhere else and click on and find the link for the thing that you want that you're right here learning about. And it's just, that's to me, that's ridiculous. Who does that? And I think the stats show that like, you know, the percentage of people that will go to a link in bio is very, very small, very small. Very, very true. It's like, um, it's got to pass the squirrel test. And so I got to give a shout out to Tech Troublemaker who is just tuning in. Yay. I'm going to bring this over here. I'm going to leave your comment on the screen so that way I could edit it at the same time. And he's saying he's trying to listen and do his day job at the same time. <laughs> you got to give it up to the crew who always show up and show their support. I absolutely love it. You guys are amazing. Um, so having said that, you know, I, f I find that to be so true in the sense of when I look at Instagram marketing, sometimes some social media teams are so busy and they'll use these third party platforms to schedule out their content. And when they're doing things for Instagram, they will say things like go to link in bio. And as you just said, sometimes it doesn't pass the squirrel test, right? It's definitely one of those things where you could get lost in the shuffle. If there's something else in that, you know, hamburger menu, then they get uh, lost in the shuffle. So in this case, even like Nathalie Gregg is saying, <laughs> she's saying, I despise the link in bio. Uh, it's so true. It's, it's helpful to get feedback from your audience as far as, you know, what do you like about it? What do you dislike about it? And for me, I find that if I'm following like, let's say a content creator, especially an Amazon influencer, right? And they're wearing the outfit of the day. If I do click on their link in bio, it's like, oh, here are uh, my home goods. These are my tech. This is this. And then here's another different website. And so I get distracted. So when I was originally trying to buy that one thing, now I'm in a rabbit hole of all these other options and it doesn't help at all. Right. 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 And the, you know, the common sense things, which look, people use link in bio because it's really the, you know, they don't know any better. They don't have another option. Stampede mm -hmm. social is that other option, but let's assume they haven't heard of it yet. Yeah. So, but they also they'll save the post, right? Or yeah. And and to me that's just as bad. I mean, I always joke that I could retire on the knowledge that I've learned on LinkedIn if I could find any of those posts that I've saved <laughs> on LinkedIn. You know what I mean? That's it's like, so funny. We yeah. never go back. We never know where it is. It's again, that's just burying something later. You see a story, it's like it's gone within 24 hours, right? There's like there's all these things that if there's not a good way to just kind of latch yourself to it at that moment, then, you know, you're going to both sides lose. I, I, my interest, I'll forget about it. And that you won't get that sign up for your webinar or your, uh, you know, your Ecamm Instagram showcase, all that good stuff. So. Exactly. So let me, um, to Nathalie, to Roy and Tony who are joining the show, let me give you a behind the scenes look of basically how I've been using this on my end. So if you've been following me on Instagram, you've probably been hearing me say all these different things like, hey, leave the hashtag uh, 94 to go to my event for 94 ways to repurpose content. Or I'll say, hey, if you want to learn how I'm live streaming on Instagram, leave the comment hashtag level one. And all of a sudden you would have gotten a link to whatever, wherever it is that I wanted you to go to. And so I save this to Nathalie, Tony and the rest of the crew. That has helped me so much in getting customers to convert because as soon as they saw an Instagram story, a carousel post, anything, basically even the Instagram live of me unboxing, you know, I'm trying to find what I was unboxing, <laughs> unboxing a Logitech face cam pro, I was able to immediately drive them to the landing page where they could quickly make a purchase. And to me, that was the difference that made the difference. Shout out to Marcus Schaub, who's saying, Stephanie, <laughs> I have to give it Every, up to Jeff. Everyone, everyone loves Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny because um, you can't see what's happening on your screen, right? Well, I did. I have I got smart halfway through and I you open it up I on the other. Sound, I, I, I have my sound down, but I have the phone up so I can see what you see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. I right, shout we out to look Brand. Great. We, we look, look great. great. Now you see it. I'm like, yeah. I, I keep talking to Jeff and I'm like, does Jeff hear me at all? 
Um, <laughs> but yeah, so Brandon is saying Stampede Social looks like a beast. Rest in peace, link in bio. And that's really what it is, friends. If you're <laughs> still trying to direct your customers, your fans to your link in bio, you are missing on a huge opportunity. So what we're looking at here is basically, this is my back end of Stampede Social. You could see all the different posts that I've had here. So yesterday I had 94 ways to repurpose live video. And I was directing people to say, leave the comment hashtag 94, and it, it drove them directly to the Eventbrite site, Jeff. And it was so cool, because then I could see the number of signups that people used. And it was cool because I could have a different hashtag for the different social media platforms or the ways that I was promoting for that particular thing, right? And right. even more interesting is I don't really do in-person events as often. So I'll, I wasn't surprised when people were saying, uh, Stephanie, is there going to be a replay? And I was like, well, actually, I do have a recorded version of this already on Thinkific. So then I was, I was able to redirect them to, again, content that I already had collected that was collecting digital dust. And I was like, I need to turn this into an ATM machine. And thanks to Stampede Social, boom, it happened. So if you guys are like, oh my gosh, these are all the things that I can do with it, that's what I'm trying to tell you. So let's go on a little bit more. Uh, if I go here in the back end under campaigns, you're probably, you're probably, I'm gonna drive you insane. You're gonna see all my different hashtags that I have in here. And so, I'm using it for workshops. I'm using it for courses. I'm using it for VIP coaching. I'm using it for all different things. And for me personally, what I really like about this, Jeff, is that I, I create my hashtags to make sense. So if people want like my Amazon, like my gear guide for my studio, right? My hashtag is need. <laughs> cause the, right. cause people are like, I need that microphone. I need whatever she's using right now. And then it redirects them over to a page. So where have you seen like other of your stampede social clients using this in such a way that's like helping them convert customers into custom. Yeah. Into, you know, conversions. Um, in, in similar ways that you're using it, it's a heavy push on reels or live events are huge because live events, you're actually connecting at that moment one-on-one -on -one with everyone. And, you know, it's interesting in the screenshot that you had, there was a QR code in the upper corner and that QR code will actually open up your Instagram DM. So if you were speaking somewhere, you can drive people from the audience to your Instagram as well. And, you know, if you're, and have them do the hashtag and then understand who in the audience was actually engaging with you, turning those anonymous folks into known folks, right? So, which is, is really cool. So that's, you know, we work with uh, some uh, conferences that do that for their speakers. So that, because the whole idea and where this really works best based on, you know, a lot of things that we've been talking about is it gets the link into your DM, right? So you don't have to go to the link in bio. You're not saving it and hopefully going back later or retyping it. It gets that link where you remember it is you're everyone, we're all in our own dms all the time right so even if you're not ready right you're not ready to buy that cam that stephanie was talking about but you know you're going to be able to get it later so you do the hashtag need and now you know it's in your inbox you know exactly where it is because your inbox is it's yours right so you can go back to it when you're ready so that's that's one of the, the key things, but a lot of folks, which is why I was excited that you wanted to talk about going in live on Instagram, because I've, we've been seeing so many people leverage live lately. And it's just, it's really, it's a great way to connect and then use these automations on the fly. Cause like when you do it, you have multiple ones going, all right, everyone wants this hashtag need. Oh, all right. Hey, now hashtag 94, you know, talk to me about the 94 ways to do my, um, you know, to repurpose content. So that's the way to do it. And you're connecting and people are reacting. And then it's, um, that's, you're the best use case. So, <laughs> <laughs> And that's, that's what I promised you, right? I was like, Hey, I'm going to be, I'm going to put this to the test and see how it works out with my audience. And so for those of you that are tuning in, rest in peace, link in bio, because that is so 2020 now we're bringing you into what you need to succeed with your Instagram marketing. 
So let me back up again. Um, let me tell you again what I've done. So I've done Instagram Live and I would tie it over to Stampede Social and that's how I was able to convert these browsers into buyers. I was able to get people into my workshops, into my online courses. I was able to get people to book a coaching call. To me, that's really important because when I'm teaching on an Instagram Live, I don't wanna have to pause and type in the comments and do all this other stuff. And to your point, Jeff, as soon as they leave the comment hashtag, whatever I want it to be, it's in their messages. So now they're building a relationship with me. They can get to know me, they can follow my stories, all of that other stuff. Now the other thing that I've used this for, what you mentioned earlier is, I did use this in my presentation yesterday. And so- Oh, you did? I did, okay. yeah. I, I put it in my presentation. I used the QR code from Stampede Social. And so Nathalie, if you're interested, basically I had the QR code and as Jeff said, it would automatically open it in the DMs. And then that's where I had on my slide, I'd say DM the word, you know, hashtag 94 VIP and you'll get the slides. And so people did that and it redirected them to a landing page where I got their name, their email, and they would immediately get the slides right then and there. So for me, that was super helpful because I didn't have to, you know, send out an email and all this other stuff. It was basically, I'm engaging with them in real time. And if I already knew them on Instagram, if they were doing Instagram stories, cause they were live at the event, I can further engage with them and do all this fun stuff. So it was really cool. And so Nathalie is even saying, brilliant. <laughs> right, and if you, wanna, if you wanna geek out a little bit more on the data, it's like Stampede Social, one of the cool things, especially from a creator point of view is, every interaction that Stephanie's mentioning, when you use a hashtag, it's all stored in a database. It's not just in her DMs. So she can then see who her top fans are, you know, who's engaging with her the most. It, there's a whole database of how many people use 94 versus need, and she can see which, which hashtags are actually getting the most uh, engagement and, and reaction. And so then you can learn from that as well in terms of Kind of saying, okay, these are the, these are resonating more. So maybe you know, I'll go more into the Instagram consulting. That that seems to be resonating more. So yeah. you can kind of just you know, yeah, yeah. People are, are definitely um, resonating with that. So the other thing that I'm testing this out for Jeff, and I don't know if you have anyone else that's doing it, is I'm an Amazon influencer. I do a lot of unboxing videos. So recently, I just did the Elgato prompter, which for me, I was like, wait a second, this is so cool. And so I created an Instagram reel and I did it for a friend. And honestly, it's it's sold out, it's back ordered. So for those of you that were watching the show, they're like, I want it, but it's back ordered. You know, I didn't have an opportunity to go in and create Stampede Social on the back end for it. However, when it does go back in stock, I am absolutely going to edit. <laughs> I'm going to edit uh, the caption and say, you know, this is where you can buy it. And so for those of you that are doing any type of affiliate marketing, this still makes sense. If you're using reels, this makes sense. This is an opportunity for you to create that system on the back end and really start driving sales from it. Right. And as, as an influencer, a master unboxer that, <laughs> you know, what, I, what's really great for you though, is if like, if that brand or that company you know, you want to report back to them how many clicks you sent to the website or to the product. Um, with Stampede Social, you know that. When you send someone just to a URL, you have no idea if they clicked on it. You have no idea, you know, what kind of traffic you're generating because it's an invisible action. That's the other issue with Link and Bio. You, they might get a refer, oh, this came from Instagram, but they don't know who it was. You know, Stephanie, when she sets these up, uh, and anyone who's using Stampede Social, you have that deeper layer of understanding. So you can report back to somebody who's, you know, working with you or you're working with them, say, this is, I sent you a thousand clicks. How many purchases were there? You know, yeah. versus most of the time that's, you know, for podcasters and all that who send people to you know, just go to blah, 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 dot com. You know, it, you, you have no idea. You have no idea. It's all invisible. And this sort of takes it from anonymous and gives you an insight, it gives you a data point to work with. Exactly. And so for those of you that are watching, Marcus, Nathalie, the rest of the crew, uh, it's, it's one of those things where 
even now in Ecamm, I just have my scene set up for when I'm going live on Instagram, right? Wherever the conversation goes, I will always have like a text overlay with the specific hashtag of what it is that I want them to do. I could turn it on, I could turn it off. Or even sometimes, Jeff, somebody randomly asked me, they're like, oh, what's the link to da da da? I was like, hold on a second, let me. And I just built it right then and there in Stampede Social. And then in less than like, I don't know, 60 seconds, it was up and live. And then I asked my viewers like, oh, okay, so did you get the link? They're like, yeah, I got the link. Okay, great. And then someone else says, oh, how do I get the link? I'm like, text overlay, use the hashtag. And then they got it. (laughs) It was so simple and so seamless. I was like, I need to do more of this. That's the whole beauty of it. We wanted to make it so simple. So you said 60 seconds. It's actually five seconds, but like the, (laughs) (laughs) but uh, you know, you just, as long as you know what hashtag you want to use and you brought up a good point, always keep it really straightforward and simple. And then you just need the URL, which can be anything. It can be an Amazon affiliate link. It can be your webpage, a blog, anywhere you want to send them. And boom, once you set it up, it's all, it's all ready to go. That's one of the beauty. I hear that all the time. Oh, I, was, I forgot to do it. I did it. And then I went live five seconds later and I was just able to get people to start using that hashtag and driving, uh, driving links to it. So yeah. it's, yeah, it's, it's purposely set up to take away a lot of the hassle of what happens when you set up one of these automations. Cause when you set up an automation, we're talking about how it works, like hashtag need, you're using it on Instagram live, but once you set it up, it automatically works as a comment to a story, to a post, yes. to any real uh, direct to DM. You know, there's there's that five ways that it works right out of the gate uh, to get you going. There's no hassle there at all. Exactly. And so, P.S., by the way, if you guys are interested in giving Stampede Social a try, I mean, that's your promo code right there. Go ahead and use promo code ECAM. Uh, and I think that was going to lock them in for... It's going to lock them 20%. in for 20% off. Yeah, 20% off any any plan. So you're good to go. And any plan. Any plan. I'm telling you guys, I am running with this as far as like affiliate marketing. So yes, all of my Amazon. Uh, yes to any of the Black Friday, Cyber Monday deals that my brand partners are going to do. Definitely going to do that. Anytime I'm doing an unboxing video, uh, even for this show, for the promotion of it, I now just have a simple hashtag called watch it's like hashtag watch and then every week basically what i'm going to do is i'm just going to change the url from the youtube to the next scheduled youtube and i think that would be amazing that is amazing yeah (laughs) it's we didn't even talk about some of the other cool stuff that it does like when you were showed up your posts earlier you know we have some really cool ai we there's a lot of things that creators and and uh, brands and everyone love doing on Instagram. One of them is post level giveaways, mm-hmm. you know, and like, so there's a winner selection tool built in to every post and real view. And you can do them during a live event as well, where it will, every comment that comes in, you can just, it'll randomize it and give you a winner's list for it. So you can do legitimate uh, giveaways. Asterisk, talk to your lawyer first, but you know what I mean? So, (laughs) (laughs) but, uh, (laughs) you know, have rules and stuff like that. But from a winner selection tool process, we make it real easy for you. And it's a legitimate winner selection list, not just a a random pluck of one of the names from the list because um, you have that. And then there's some cool AI tools. I don't know if you've played with the engagement tools where you can, you set your tone and your theme. And so as comments come in, you can use our AI helper and it'll create responses to the comments in context to the caption of the post or reel Mm -hmm. for you that you can then edit and then send away. Make yourself sound amazing using (laughs) all that fancy AI technology everyone's talking about. I know. AI is is so amazing. Let's see. Every time, um, and it could just be the fact that I'm, I'm doing this on a stream and I'm not always staying on here. But if I were to go over here, Uh, So let's say these are the different comments that are happening. So Thrive with Video Podcast, you know, yay. Uh, It was fire. Zaley, all this looks amazing. So you're saying that if I wanted to use AI for this, I could click on AI help. Is that right? Uh, Yes. If so, do you have, if you scroll down a little further down the page, I'm just, if you scroll down the page, there's the AI tools. Do you have, my eyes aren't good enough. Yeah, no, no, right there. You see where it says AI options? 
So there's three things there. There's tone and theme on the left. Mm -hmm. there. Yeah, I got it. Right. And then there's also because you have more than five comments on this post, there's a AI comment analysis that shows up. So what that'll do right where you were, right where you were. Yeah. The uh, yeah. Yeah. So what that'll do is that'll read all the comments from it'll do, it'll analyze all the comments for that post and give you a marketing analysis of that. That as a creator can help you kind of understand the pros and the, the positives and negatives and some other content ideas that can be created from the actual conversations being created on your own post. So, you know, that's one of the other things that when you asked earlier, like what do brands and folks do not wrong, but it's just that they really can't do is they can't leverage the data on Instagram because you can't get to it. And mm. Stampede Social gives you access to the literal data. You're not just viewing it so you can comment like on some inbox management tools. You can literally click a button and download all the comments for that post or all the comments from your posts and reels. We have one creator that's collected over 13,000 comments. So you can imagine the breadth of data and ideas of other content that live there that normally you would never have access to, but now you have access to it. So that's, that's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah. So if you hit AI help, it will create a response for you for that comment and it won't send it. <laughs> you have to hit send, but mm -hmm. our reply, you don't have to do that right now, but if you want to hit AI help, you can show you saw how it just creates it and yeah. you can edit that and you can hit AI help again. And it'll just generate a new version. If you didn't like that one, you know, and stuff like that. So I always, you know, AI is really super cool. And I, I think this AI version helps you because, um, it's helpful in the way I think AI can be really helpful, which is just helping you not doing it for you. <laughs> it's like, it's a suggestion. And then you can use that, tweak it a little bit because, you know, AI is not always perfect, but it's a great head start and it can help you be a little more creative when everyone's answering fire emoji. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 it was. Yeah. So this one is, this is Taylor Maps. He's actually one of the, uh, Ecamm, Ecamm customer support. And so he says it was, it was lit. So, you know, glad you enjoyed the workshop, ready to slay the live stream. And it's, it's fun. Like this is, this is so much fun. Uh, I personally haven't used the giveaway feature yet. That I'm actually going to save for like another Instagram live, figure out, you know, who do I want to partner up with that and just have fun with it. P.S. By the way, I'm seeing like a bunch of viewers. You guys, if you haven't given Jeff or Stampede Social a thumbs up yet, you need to give this man some love because this is a game changer. This is amazing. Um, and leave comments for me too. So that way I know where you are. See, Johnny, Johnny just needed a little extra push. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, where are all these viewers coming from? You have to say hi. Okay, so hi, for, for my Amazon influencers or anyone that's doing any type of affiliate marketing, what I thought, it was so fascinating because Jeff, you told me this. You're like, Stephanie, did you know that you can actually, when you do Stampede Social, you could direct them to a link and maybe have more options. It's kind of like a link in bio, but it's very specific to what that thing was. And so what I had done is I did an unboxing video of Aperture. It's this really cool uh, light that I got from Vid Summit. And obviously when I was putting that together, people were saying, oh, well, tell me about your, your, your lights and your teleprompter and all this other stuff. And then I said, okay, on Instagram, any post or any story or any Instagram live, just leave the comment hashtag need and it would direct them over to this. And so this I actually built out in Canva because you were the one that told me that you're like, hey, did you know that you could do this in Canva? And I was like, stop it. Canva basically does everything these days. I literally Canva's have amazing. no idea why people are paying for a link in bio tool. It's you don't have to, <laughs> you know. So this is the part where when people were watching my unboxing video about my gear, I drove them here and it all redirects over to my Amazon store. So you could get my studio set up, my mobile video studio, uh, video editing or consulting, or even just a link to my Instagram and Ecamm Live workshop. And so this is just all the different things that you can do with it. I'm, I've given you so many use cases. <laughs> no, I know. So, you know, when we talk about 
leveraging a, a smart link is great, right? So if you have, if you're doing a bunch of conversations um, about um, your equipment, right? You can have, you can be talking about different pieces of that equipment uh, at any given time, but you don't necessarily have to, with that smart link, like you were showing, you can have one destination for each of those hashtags, right? Exactly. And then they can get all three of those in one place because different yeah. hashtags can still go to the same URL. It's not like it doesn't, right? So that it's just a way to consolidate and that makes it even easier. Like for podcasters, you can use a chartable link so when people click on it, it either goes to Apple or Spotify or wherever you have it set up to go to, right? So you can you can have very specific things and not necessarily just go to one single destination, like just that Amazon product on Amazon. You could yeah. go to, here's a page for three of them, and then they could click to the one they want to go yeah. to. Yeah. And so it was just basically bucketized, <laughs> bucketized in such a way that made sense. And so for me, honestly, friends, Rest in peace, link in bio. You will never, ever hear me say that again. I'll still have it there on my profile of like, you know, just how to get started. But I feel like when I'm engaging with people, when I'm in conversations with people, I am not going to say go to my link in bio. I will have them just say, use this hashtag. And it's so cool because they're like, oh, what's that? And they go into it. They don't have to get outside of the conversation and go to that link. So for those of you that are tuning in, you know, what do you think? What are you, what questions do you have? What did you learn? What are some ideas that you have? Because we've got Jeff here. He's the CEO and co-founder. He's obviously crushing it. He's open to ideas. I'm over here like breaking things. <laughs> like, can I do this? Yeah. And I don't know if if it's just me, but whenever I hit you up on LinkedIn, you're like, you're just oh, Stephanie. Let me give you some feedback. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I'm a, I'm a podcaster, I'm a creator. So we, we like to say that Stampede Social is built by creators for creators. So we work at the speed of creators as well. So when people come to us with an idea, if we can do it, we're going to do it. That built in sweepstakes winner selection tool was based on someone's like, oh, you know, I wish it could do this. And we're like, oh, I think we're almost there. I think it practically does it already. We just have to, you know, take it over the finish line and, and kind of you know, put those specific things in place. So we, one of the things I love is when people tell me how they use it because everyone thinks of, they have a unique approach or angle that they can come up with that I didn't think of. And I love that. I love it. So when people are like, oh, I wish this was in there. Oh, I could do that for you. You know what I mean? We, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, now when I reserve the right to become a giant billionaire company, and ignore you it's something no, i'm just kidding <laughs> Down the road. well now that you're not Down ignoring people let's let's answer now, lydia's question now you got my ear <laughs> so lydia's question is just to confirm they're saying hashtag in the comments or in a dm it's basically both right either or right it's so either or, yeah it, it's an interesting it's an interesting question because one of the early things that came up during an early conversation was well what if somebody didn't want to comment like there's certain things that maybe somebody doesn't want somebody to know that they're inquiring about. So the call to action would be comment, hashtag need, or comment or DM me, hashtag need. And then either either way you do it, it works. So you can, you can pull that into, um, it automatically works either way, whether you tell them or not. Uh, but it does come at, it does right out of the box work that way, but it's a great question. But yeah, DM, comment to a post, comment to a reel, comment to a, a story or um, during an Instagram live. So Exactly. So Lydia's like, perfect. Wanted to make sure it worked either way. Yeah, Lydia, it's, it's amazing because if you think about it, let's say you're doing a product launch, you're doing an online course, you're not just going to promote it once, right? So whenever I'm promoting one of my virtual workshops, I will have a post. So yes, that post is going to have a comment or DM hashtag call to action, right? Then I'm going to do an Instagram story. Same thing. They could comment or DM from that Instagram story. And then I'll do an Instagram live. So there's multiple ways for me to do this. And it makes it really fun and exciting. And I find that when I do it on a post where it shows up in the news feed, people are curious. They're like, wait, why are people all commenting the same thing? What does that mean? And then they go back into the caption 
and see what it's at. Now, you had a really good piece of advice to me. You're like, Stephanie, if you're going to direct people to comment or DM a certain hashtag, where should I put it in the caption, Jeff? As close to the top as possible. If you can, I've seen it. You can put it in the image or sometimes people do a carousel and they do it as the second image. Um, I've seen that work really well as well. But I think we just have to kind of look and see how much content you're putting into the caption and really kind of look inside yourself and say, is someone actually going to read all this? And if it's at the very bottom, <laughs> if it's at the very bottom, we're all there. We're all there. We're all, we're all, we've all been there, but the, um, it, you put it at the bottom, but I also put it at the top. Right. And so you want people to immediately know they can just deal with this later. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so putting it at the top or a lead in sentence and then do it, just interrupt it and then continue continue on so they know it's an option uh, right there is uh, another way to do it. You know, you brought up stories, which um, to me, I think stories is the one where people push back on the whole idea the most. One, it's easier because you only have to comment because it is private on a story. To, so you don't, but uh, there's that, what threw people off was when you could do that link, you know, the link sticker, the URL sticker, right? And so you can still do both. But the, the, the benefit to having commenting, especially if you're an influencer and, and doing stuff like Stephanie's doing, which is, you know, uh, consulting or webinars, literal things that, you know, are sales related, right? Have a return. By getting them to comment, you're generating basically a sales lead list on the fly. Because even if they don't click on it, you now know that they were interested enough to request it and you can follow up with it. And in the, in the reporting, you know, if they clicked on it or not, and if they, obviously if they register, you know, that they went through the whole process, but by getting them to at least comment, uh, which is the same thing with the QR codes. If you're speaking, if you're doing a live event, even if you're a podcaster and you just go, go better help DM me, better help. Don't try and get them to remember some long URL. You, you now know who's doing that. You have literally a lead list both in your DMs and in a report that you can then follow up on. I love that. So I, when you were talking, it, it, it just clicked for me. And I know you've probably told me this like five times already, but here's what I heard. And this is where I was like, wait a second. You said, Stephanie, in an Instagram story, you, yes, you can use a link sticker. Yay, they'll go to the destination. However, if you encourage your fans to leave a comment, it will then direct them to a DM, and now you've created a lead list. How many of you guys are trying to generate leads? Because now I'm like, wait, so I could export that list and I could compare to see if they actually completed a purchase. And if they didn't, then I could reach back out and be like, oh, Lydia, did you still have a question about Stampede Social? Is there anything? It, it basically had opened a door I can learn a little bit more about what their objections might be, or maybe they just, you know, wanted to know something else. Like this morning I had someone reach out about my video editing service and they were just kind of like, um, you know, can you tell me more about your resources? Cause that's why they didn't have purchase. And so I was able to close that deal because I had my lead list and I just didn't, I didn't know what to call it, but you said it so just oh, perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> So Lydia is saying, this is exactly what I've been looking for. Can see so many applications, direct call to action to create a lead list. And that's gold. I, yeah, Lydia, we're on the same page. You and I, we're both geeking out. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right. So what else did they got to know? I mean, can you give us a hint? Maybe some Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Uh, how do our creators using this that I haven't even like scratched the surface on? Well, you know, it's, it, it all depends. That's the, that's the interesting thing about Stanford social and just working with creators and brands and everyone, everyone uses it slightly different and everyone has like, oh, this is my favorite feature, you know, type thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like eventually everyone's favorite feature becomes that AI help tool. Like they're like, this is the most fun ever. Yeah. But, um, but you know, one of the core ideas with Stanford social when we first started was collecting first party data, or maybe they're calling it zero party data, but mailing lists. Ultimately, whether you're collecting for a webinar or anything like that, creating 
actions that get people to give you their mailing list. You know, unfortunately we know, and hopefully because uh, Stamping Social relies on Instagram that it sticks around for a long time, but we know that, um, that, that, you know, we've watched what happened with MySpace, you know, like Vine, you know, what's happening with Twitter now, you know, like these things that we thought were going to be here forever and that our kids, kids were going to enjoy, they disappear. And so, but the only true kind of constant is mailing lists, is email. And so using this technology to constantly be building that up is, is really a key thing. You can do that combined with other things when they sign up for your, your webinar, all that kind of stuff, always be asking, you know, for that and collecting that first party data. Cause then you can round robin it and you can then use that to push the same things that you're pushing on the socials and, and go, you know, go that way as well. But, um, you know, I, I personally think some of the, the hidden features, which are the coolest things are the fact that, and they're not the most exciting out of the bat, but the fact that you can go live and just go, Hey, just say hi, just say hello. Everyone that comments gets recorded, right? Well, that sounds worse than it is, but it just, it, meaning like it becomes part of your engagement database. You start to understand and learn who your fans are. And so just, you know, whereas with likes or them just showing up, you don't have any record of that later. And the whole idea now that you can really deep dive, you can start meaningful conversations on your Instagram posts and reels and live events, knowing that this data is being collected and then you can analyze that data. You can use our AR reports to do it and then create other content ideas or see what people, hey, you know, it's, it's kind of like the conversation we had, you know, Stephanie, when you're talking about like, um, you know, equipment and stuff, people are always like, well, what about this? What about this type of equipment? Or what do you use to hold up those books in the back of your thing so that social media marketing book never falls over? What are you using there? What's that flower? You know what I mean? Like, but like, as people say things like that, it's like, oh, these are the things that they're tangentially interested in in you. And then maybe later you start to create a live on that. You know, I'm just making up whatever, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's everyone kind of gives hints to, um, other things that they want to learn from you. And yeah. the current state of Instagram is it's too hard to really have a grasp on that unless it's the same person saying it 50 times in a row. That's but then you true. really, it's all just in your heart and your mind. You don't really know, but now you can actually look and see and download it and understand. And so, you know, I, to me, that's, that's pretty cool. I love it. So we've got a question here from Saeed and Saeed saying, well, how about LinkedIn? You know, hashtag asking for a friend. I'm not on Instagram. Uh, I mean, my friend isn't. <laughs> well, are we gonna see Stampede Social on other platforms or is it strictly Instagram for now? Um, I will say I don't, as much as I would love to do it on LinkedIn, LinkedIn doesn't allow any of this, okay? So it all comes down, every platform, it comes down to what they allow developers to do and tap into. So, um, you know, this was originally built on Twitter, but then Twitter changed how they were, uh, work with developers and the, the APIs and all the geeky stuff that makes this stuff work was $0 a month and became $42,000 a month. So I joke, we can get it to work for you on Twitter starting at $50,000 a month, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so, you know, like on TikTok we can hook you up with your stats for TikTok, right? So your last hundred posts, you know, which is a valuable thing. And like it, that you get an Instagram post and reels stats report too with Stampede Social, but we can also hook you up with, I think we talked about that. We just haven't done it yet. It's, um, that's the only thing we can do on TikTok right now. You know, on TikTok, you can only send TikTok links, right? When you share links on TikTok, it's just TikTok. And TikTok doesn't allow you to have access to certain comments or anything like that, you know, so it's, it really comes down to every platform being slightly different. Um, we had toyed with Reddit for a bit, but there isn't, believe it or not, a huge, uh, cry for it, but <laughs> at the moment, but, um, what we, why we focused on Instagram and created this entire full suite of stuff for Instagram was that's where we saw the shortcomings. You know, this is where, um, everyone, but, you know, the person who asked the question is on Instagram, but like everyone else knows <laughs> the, um, <laughs> okay. the, uh, um, that's where the kind of the shortcomings were. It's such a, you know, for a top three platform, 
it, it makes it really hard for brands and everyone to do certain things. And so we, we fixed all that for you. Very cool. Well, you know, what I will say to this, um, to Saeed, you know, who was asking about uh, LinkedIn. So even now, when, when Jeff and I were talking about the word hashtag need, if you wanted my gear, that only works on Instagram. However, if you are using a social media scheduling tool, right, or that has like a social inbox, if you notice that somebody was watching your live stream on the other platforms and they just so happen to use a specific hashtag as the CTA, if you have saved replies in your social inbox, you can then say, oh, hey, thanks for asking about so-and-so, and then you still give them the link. It's just a different process. It's a workaround, but at least they don't feel as if they're forgotten. And I say this because someone had done that earlier <laughs> and I'm looking at my my ecan, I'm like, oh, you know, I might lose that comment, but I know on the back end, I could look at my social inbox and see like, oh, Marcus had asked for my Amazon store setup, and then I could send that over to him. So that's that's cool. Right. One thing you can do is when you set up, like when you set up hashtag 94, when anyone sets up any one of these campaigns, the links that you get when you interact with Stephanie are unique to you. That link was created for you on the fly. Uh, but there is like a, a specific link just for hashtag 94 that Stephanie or anyone could use on LinkedIn. So it, this is one way site is uh, you could go on LinkedIn and say, here's my link to my uh, Amazon stuff. And it redirects through what it'll do is it'll redirect through Stampede Social and then send them off to your Amazon destination. And where that's helpful uh, from a creator point of view is it's collecting all the clicks in one report for you. So you could put that URL in email on Facebook in your TikTok link in bio, that place it's allowed. The, uh, <laughs> um, you know, uh, Twitter X, whichever one you call it these days, any of those that um, you go and it redirects through Stampede Social. It's a, it's a quarter of a yeah, millisecond redirect. They don't know, they don't notice it. But what it, for you as a creator, all of a sudden you're like, oh, I've sent, you know, X number of clicks th through my Instagram engagement. And then from the other platforms, I've sent another hundred clicks to my Amazon. So, and you don't have to track down individually each one of those metrics from each one of those posts and instances of where you sent people from. It just makes your life a little easier. So that's our goal, just to make your life easier. <laughs> and honestly, it really <laughs> has. I mean, this is one of those things where I had I had been one of the early adopters with like the automations and the DMs and having to set up chatbots. And then that just opened up a whole can of worms as far as like sequences and this and that. And then I found I needed to get like a degree in chatbots, <laughs> right? And I was just like, I just wanna get this set up. I don't wanna have to like do a long test and all this other stuff. And literally on the fly, I could create a hashtag link it to a specific destination URL, hit the ground running, start promoting my next thing and not really have to worry about it. So as far as making this super easy, you sure have. It's one of those things where I'm like, oh my gosh, like how, how is nobody not using this right now? <laughs> that, I mean, that's a whole goal of it. That was our, that was our whole goal was make it as super simple, take away all of the confusing elements um, of it and we make it real simple. And yeah, I mean, that's the whole idea. It's just, it's transactional. People put a lot of too much thought into it. It's like, we've kind of honed it down to just so you can, you know, hit a button and then boom, you're going. And look, Stephanie's already making thousands of dollars. Yeah, so that, I mean, that was wild. <laughs> like literally I was just kind of like, well, you know, let's see if this works. And it was random. It was literally random. So like my girlfriend, Kenya, I was like, Stephanie, you should do a three hour intensive. And I was like, well, I don't know what I would do an intensive on. I, w I don't know what I would do a workshop on. So I randomly went live, it was October 8th. And as I was just building scenes on Instagram with Ecamm, someone had said, Stephanie, I would love to learn how to do this. And I said, do, would you really, would you be interested in learning how to do it? They're like, yeah, sign me up. And then as soon as that person said, sign me up, sign me up, sign me up, right? Because social proof. <laughs> I was then on the back end and I said, okay. So then I created something in Stampede Social and I said, 
here it is. I created a course on Thinkific. Just register and then I'll drop in the Zoom link later. And then by the time I was done with that, on a Sunday night, right, I had so many registrations and I was like, stop. And it just, it absolutely clicked for me. And I'm not, I'm, there's no looking back basically at this point. <laughs> I think if, <laughs> I feel like I'm going to cringe anyone, to, any time someone says link in bio to me, I'll be like, game over. That's 2020. Let me introduce you to Stampede Social. And so for those of you that are tuning in, yeah, stampede.social. Go and use the promo code ECAMFAM. That's going to give you 20% off any of their plans. And literally, you need to do this. If you're the type of person you're like, Stephanie, but I don't know what it is that I do. Just reach out. We'll figure out a plan because we're entering into one of the busiest, most profitable shopping seasons. And if you are not using this for your business, your brand, your consulting, your coaching, you're missing out, friend. And friends don't let friends <laughs> Use link in bio. That should, that should be a sticker. There's our new tagline. <laughs> friends don't let friends say link in bio. We don't do that anymore. That doesn't That's happen. That's going to be a post. We're going to make a little post with your face on it. With my on. face on it, for sure. I would love that. <laughs> All right, Jeff. Well, this has been absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for geeking out with me. This has been fun. If people wanted to learn more about you and Stampede Social, where should they head off to? Oh, stampede.social is probably the best place to uh, find out all about, you know, Stampede Social. That's, you know, that's primary. We're on Twitter. We're everywhere. But I mean, that's that's the home of all the knowledge. We got all that there. And uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> no magic with that answer. Sorry. <laughs> He's funny. Jeff, Jeff is so down to earth. Like literally whenever I needed help, I would reach out to him. Um, sometimes if I thought I broke something, He'd be like, no, Stephanie, this is what you do. Like he, he'll literally be hopping onto a plane. He's like, I have a layover. I have four hours to help you solve this. I'm like, thank you, sir. <laughs> it's like, Bruce, that is a true story. <laughs> it is a true story. He comes through and he helps out. And I love that you said that this was a uh, built for creators by creators. And I love that. So having said that, we'll say bye for now. Uh, again, for those of you that didn't write this down, uh, go to stampede.social. Choose any plan that works best for you. I think the lowest one right now is $25. Hit the ground running with it. I mean, makes sense. Use Ecamm as your promo code. Get started. Start thinking about all of that. Carla is even in here and she is saying, what are you saying, Carla? I need to learn other options than Lincoln Bio. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Stampede Social. Yeah, you do. Friends don't <laughs> let friends use Lincoln Bio. <laughs> all right. So we'll say bye for now. Thanks, Jeff. Bye. bye.